ini which is really inexpensive it's only $25 for the hair Super late start to today's vlog. We're officially four days out. Did my second last cardio this morning. I cut the lawn um, right now. Finished up client work and right now we are going to get a haircut because it's that time again guys. We fly out tomorrow. Time to start looking all pretty. Started teeth whitening on Monday and uh, I'm friggin stoked even though we're basically on zero carbs and training is on the depletion side of things uh, we're in a really good spot guys so yeah let's go get our hair cut be all pretty oh yeah guys basically water loading so yesterday we had eight liters of water today we have eight liters of water so everywhere I go I got a 2 liter jug and a 1.5 so should be fun Rudy's which is really inexpensive it's only $25 for the haircut um, I alternate between two guys one of the guys name is Farouk he does a really good job I'm not sure the other guy's name but he also does um, a very good job and they really uh, take their time. I've been to a couple different hairdressers, guys, where they just seem like they're trying to like plow through your hair, like literally as fast as friggin' possible, just to try to get people like in and out of there and make money. But they really take their time. This was the first time ever I actually had to wait for a haircut there, um, and it was only like I think a 30-minute wait. That's the longest time I've ever waited for a haircut um, at this place, and they actually actually cut it for almost like a full 30 minutes probably even longer probably took him about 35 to cut my hair um, which is uncalled for like I don't have a lot of hair to cut off in the first place so we are gonna go home we are gonna cook our pre-workout meal which is um, 100 grams of rice um, uh -huh, like some chicken and then asparagus so as you can see, I only get carbs with pre and post workout right now, and the carbs I do get with pre and post workout is only 100 grams of rice, 100 grams of potatoes, which is only 20 carbs each. Um, so I'm not including veggies, obviously. Um, I'm only eating 40 carbohydrates a day. Um, but that's only for the Sunday, no, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is like that, and then Thursday morning um, we will be carving up so I'm really gonna try to get a lot of clips in today and have this edited and posted tonight um, because we do fly out tomorrow morning um, so guys I'll see you in the next one alright guys so that basically took almost no time to cook up at all we basically have water um, I squeeze a little bit of lemon on all my food just for extra digestion and then we have let's get it in here we just have the asparagus the chicken on a little bit of rice which you can see under there so gonna polish this off guys and then in about 45 minutes we're gonna go to the gym so today's chest day depletion chest day should be a fun day. To his inner savage and be the embodiment of rage, power, and innocence. The passion I have is what I wake up to every single morning. The lifestyle of bodybuilder is a very Spartan lifestyle. You're very uh, disciplined and regimented in what you do from you know, eating, to training, to sleeping. And I was very focused. You know, I had this ability to be this professional bodybuilder and I, I took it to the extreme and, and you know, I loved it.
that depletion chest workout. It was really easy and uh, we're going to go through it right now actually and I'm just going to give you a little bit of um, behind the scenes on what we did, why we did what we did because I don't usually do that. Um, I'm just getting my post-workout meal in which is right here. Presentation value today is amazing because we're cooking all the food fresh. So we do have a little bit of potatoes, sweet potatoes, um, fish and asparagus. And yeah guys, um, Thursday, tomorrow is the last depletion day and then carb up starts Thursday. So that's going to be a good day. Even though I'm twice as hungry on carb up days, it's nice eating some oats. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's go through the workout. Buddy, um, it's basically 11.15 at night. I just decided to cook my meal now so I can get to bed because I have a lot to do tomorrow. I haven't packed, I haven't done anything. Um, so the workout that we did today was basically only five exercises. So we started with chest flies. Um, just the biggest reason that we started with chest flies was just to get a lot of blood into the muscle and really exert like a full range of motion of glycogen. Then we moved into a press, um, just an incline press. That's basically the biggest part of my chest that lacks is the incline. Well, actually my entire chest lacks, but um, that's another story for another day. We just went heavy on one of those sets. We did 90s for a set of 20 and just really contracted it. Got all the glycogen out. We followed uh, that heavy compound movement with another fly. Um, just nice controlled movements. You can really see all the striations, just really felt it. And then we moved in just to a machine press, superset it with some push ups um, just to really get all the glycogen, and we went home. Obviously, guys, like as you've seen in my previous training videos, like I can train crazy hard, but just with the calories. My last meal of the day is just egg whites and spinach. Um, it's uh, we fly out tomorrow guys I, I couldn't be more pumped for this carb up I'm looking better than I've ever looked I'm flatter right now than I've ever looked and it's just it's gonna be my best showing to date so I'm hoping everything goes according to plan um, with the flights and the hotels and the tan and everything just I want a very stress-free uh, weekend and yeah, and then just Saturday is going to be the biggest bodybuilding show I've ever done uh, with it like less than a year of me even competing. So I'd be stoked and I want to go to win and I'm going there to win. And if I don't, it, it will be a great experience just competing in the biggest bodybuilding show there is. But you always go to a show to win, guys. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Um, if you don't go to win, you won't put every single thing that you possibly can into that endeavor, into that show, into that anything. So I'm going to finish this meal. I'm going to throw this video together so I can post it tomorrow morning because then I'm going to put a uh, like a three, two, and day of video up for you guys with just the flying and, and checking into the kitchenette and doing everything like that. So thank you for watching. Um, the growth of my channel has been unbelievable. So if you like these videos, guys, I know they're nothing special yet. Very boring, very repetitive, just with the same meals and, and the same intensity levels. But uh, there's going to be some great videos to come. And I love what I do. Like I said before, zero people could watch these videos. And I'll still keep posting, just because it's always something to look back on. It's always something to like. And my haircut's still fresh.